Alright, so, uh, simple tall robot like everyone else who doesn't go over the trench. Uh, intake actuates on a four bar, on the pistons on the side. Physical hard stops both forward and backwards. Um, two rollers instead of three. Most teams have three. Spacers across the front have no dead zones. Always have kind of with the ball. Pulls up nice on a 775 Pro. Pretty simple side guard to front. Loading station ramp right here. You got balls when it's outwards. Then we have a week six kind of spectrum inspired V belt hopper stage where we have the poly belt and then we just have it uh, over there with Andy Mark compliant, Next Pro compliant, um, differentiated speeds for better flow. It's also a half inch decline backwards and it also uh, shifted on the left side slightly higher. So it all shifts together, it doesn't have any middle jabs. Uh, flywheel on two Neos, geared like 14 to 18 or something, close to that. Pretty simple limelight, uh, auto aim, and uh, auto flywheel speed. So any distance you want, just speed, nothing precise, no switching speeds, really easy, nothing complicated. Uh, from there, we have the uh, uptake belt, single uh, 775 Pro, um, just poly belt again, just two pieces of it, uh, like sand backing, not two belts. Uh, then that hood's just CNC backed. Uh, I don't know the release angle, but it's pretty simple, nothing complicated. And then from there, you just have climb, which is held down by the zip tie chain. And then at the end of the match, it gets released by this piston. It comes out all the way. That gets released, flips up, uh, pulled back on uh, surgical tubing on both sides. Then this, uh, repressurized. I can't pull it up. Uh, wait, we're not pressurized? I'm just weak. It goes up, and it pulls back down. That's how we climb. It goes up like 10 inches. CNC hooks. Uh, nothing too complicated, but it all works. It's all good. We don't get to compete anymore, so that's how it is.